Hello everyone, today I'll be demonstrating how to use Crow's Corpus text processing tool. The tool allows you to run three processes on files. First, conversion and plain text from another file format, with the supported file formats being PDF, DOCX, HTML, and PPTX. Second, you can encode your files to UTF-8. And finally, you can standardize the files, removing non-ASCII characters. The tool also allows for removing PDF metadata. We use this for de-identifying files that will go into Crow's repository as PDFs as well as plain text. So if you're not planning on providing original files in your corpus or repository, you can ignore this process. Note that the tool only allows for you to choose folders for processing and not individual files. So you'll want to ensure you have all the files you plan on processing within a folder. One great thing about this processing tool is that we'll process all files and folders within a hierarchy and replicate that folder structure. You only need to choose a top level folder. Before using the tool itself, you should ensure that you have a folder for each process where you can save the files you're processing to. I have four folders total that I'll be using. The original folder contains all of the files I will be processing organized by instructor, assignment, and draft. The converted folder will contain plain text file versions of the original documents. The encoded folder will contain UTF-8 encoded versions of the text files. The standardized folder will contain the encoded files with all characters standardized. Now that I have my folders ready, I will use the Corpus text processing tool. I'll begin by processing files from the original folder and saving files to the converted folder. So now I've selected my original folder. And once again, as I mentioned, it will replicate the folder structure. So I'll click original rather than the instructors. And then I'll save these files to my converted folder. You want to click convert to plain text, process files, and there are no error messages. So to ensure that the conversion was successful, I'll want to check how many files I have within my converted folder. So I see that there are 51 items. We're now checking how much were in my original. There are 51 items as well. So great. That means that there is an equal amount of files that was that were converted. So now I'll check to make sure that the file size is greater than one. So I can see they're all greater than one. And I'll actually click one to ensure that everything looks fine within the file itself. So there are no issues there. And we can conclude that the conversion step was successful. And as you can see that the folder structure I mentioned earlier was replicated. Great. So now the next step will process files from our in converted folder. So choosing the outermost one. Then we'll be saving these files to our encoded folder. We'll click standardize to UTF-8 encoding. Hit process files and allow the tool to encode all of those files to UTF-8. So once again, no error messages. I'll repeat the same process as earlier. I see that there are 51 items which matches what we saw earlier. And then checking the file size, no issues there. And I'll open one up again and everything seems to match the original file. Great, so now we'll move on to the final step, which is standardizing. So we'll process our files from the encoded folder and then save these files to our standardized folder. Now I'll click normalize characters. This step here will flatten all diacritics as well as standardized quotation marks and other forms of punctuation. So then process files. Once again, there are no error messages. And we'll check our files one last time. So we have 51 items.
and you can see all the sizes are greater than one. And opening the file seems to match the other ones we have opened. So no issues there. And we have successfully converted our files to plain text, encoded them to UTF-8, and normalized all characters. No limitations to keep in mind of the tool are text as image PDFs, potentially some character encoding types, and potentially files that consist primarily of non-Romanized characters. But there you have it. We have successfully used the Corpus Text Processing Tool. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful.